let's look at the next lesson, convert numbers to tens and ones up to 1,000. It says type the missing numbers. 21 is equal to how many tens and how many ones? So let's see if we have 21, let's see how many tens are in that number. I know my tens place is here and my ones place is here. So I see that there are two tens and just one one. And this makes sense because when we count by tens, 10, 20, then we just have one more, 21. So we have two tens and one one. And we know that's true because we have two tens, so a two is in our tens place and we have one one, so a one is in the ones place. 21 is equal to two tens plus one one. Now we have 11. I see that we have a one in our tens place and a one in our ones place. That means we have one ten plus one one. Let's draw a picture. Here's our ten. One more than ten is eleven. So one ten and one one. Here we have 14. In this number I see one ten and four ones. One ten and four ones because we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So one ten plus four ones is equal to 14. Here's 17. What number is in the tens place? Yes, one. There's one ten, and what number is in the ones place? Seven. So 17 is equal to one ten plus seven ones. Now we have 26. What number is in my tens place? Yes, two. And what number is in my ones place? six. So let's draw a picture for it. Twenty-six we said is two tens and six ones. Let's count them. Ten, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Yes, twenty-six is equal to two tens and six ones. Here we have 18. I can see that there's a one in the tens place and an eight in the ones place. So we have 10 and eight more. So 18. They want us to convert 20 to tens and ones. Here I see the number 20 and they want us to tell them how many tens there are and how many ones there are. Well, if I drew this out, 10, 20, I would stop there. And I see that I have two tens, which also is in my tens place. Two tens and how many ones? Yeah, zero. I don't see any ones here or here because there's a zero in my ones place. So plus zero ones. Do you see that down below, two tens plus zero ones? Yep, right here. All right, let's convert 26 to tens and ones. 26, well I have a two in my tens place and a six in my ones place, so I don't even need to draw a picture. I know that that is two tens plus six ones because it is 26. Do you see this down below? Yes, two tens plus six ones. Convert 15 to tens and ones. Again, I see I have a number in my tens place and a number in my ones place. So I know I have one ten. And how many ones? Yeah, five ones. Let's look at the options they give us. They say one ten plus 15 ones. 
Nope, there are not 15 ones, there are five ones, so this is not it. 15 tens plus five ones. No way, 15 tens is too many. Here we have five tens plus one one. Oh, they got that backwards. It's one ten and five ones, so this one's not the right one. Here it is, one ten plus five ones. Next, they would like us to convert 26 to tens and ones. How many tens are in our number? Yes, two. Two tens plus how many ones? Yep, six plus six ones. Do you see this option down below? Can you point to it? Brilliant, two tens plus six ones is right here. Thanks for your help.